5G? How can enterprise supply this technology for better products and for better services that meet the needs of the, the end user? And what is the role of the communication service provider in this transformation? Tom Loze is the global telecommunication leader at EY, and he's here to talk us through the global trends and the tips for enterprises and for CSPs. Welcome, Tom. Thank you. Nice to be here. You're welcome. Uh, so you recently launched a 5G report describing which regions are leaders and which regions are the laggards in terms of 5G investments and the future growth. Can you share your insights with us? Yeah, sure. Um, indeed, we uh, we launched the the, um, the study, uh, you know, based on uh, uh, research we did with uh, over a thousand enterprises, but also based on uh, you know day to day work that we do with uh, you know leaders in this uh, in, in this field. Um, I think a couple of points to share, you know, specifically on uh, on on this point. By right? overall, uh, probably not surprising as a consequence of the whole. Uh, uh, pandemic and the consequence of that, we see really an acceleration of investments in 5G, also investment appetite. Uh, if you think about the leaders, uh, there's of course always nuances if you sort of look at the uh, uh, area continental uh, level. Uh, but what is clear is that really APEC is is standing out in 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 multiple uh, in, in in multiple uh, areas. Um, I think you know first. Um, really, you've seen a push uh, in APEC with you know public-private uh, partnership to actively use this new technology uh, in places where it was uh, you know very much needed, like in in healthcare, you know connected hospitals uh, using 5G for um, uh, remote uh, uh, testing, uh, uh, really looking for ways to uh, to get the value out of the new technology, and that's also reflected in. And what you see as as the results of our of our research, a uh, uh, number of uh, APEC enterprises that says we will invest in five G in the next two three years is significantly higher than, for example, in the Americas or in Europe. If you look at the answer to the question, oh, we think that five G will be part of really the fabric of our business. Uh, again, much higher scores in APEC. If you ask about uh, would you expect to need external support to get the full benefits out of 5G? Uh, much uh, stronger agreement in, in APEC. So uh, I would say uh, APEC is really uh, really pushing hard and, and, and leading, honestly, in this in this space with uh, uh, Americas as a second and, and, and Europe as a as a third. So we have to do our best in Europe. And in the report as well, you explore what it takes for companies to digitally transform using 5G and, and the role of the current CSPs in this transformation. Can you elaborate on this as well? Yeah, I, you know, the way that we look at it based on the, on the inputs that we get and, and again, you know, based on, uh, on what clients are asking us to, uh, to really fully uh, reap the benefits of, of this new, uh, new technology, uh, I would say it's three uh, things really. It's the first one is around uh, reimagining how you as a company could uh, could function. So so now that this 5G technology is available, right, which provides tremendous speed, but which also provides like immediate response, right? Low, low latency is the more technical term. It allows you to connect over a million devices per uh, square column, uh, kilometer. It's a uh, 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 bandwidth is really uh, guaranteed and and stable. Uh, um, you know in, in in uh, short-term future, there will be characteristics of uh, 3D uh, geolocation uh, information. And, and so the question then really becomes, how do you use this technology to, uh, to become a better company? How do you use it in your operations, in your logistics? How do you use it maybe even to get to new business models? Uh, how can you use all these uh, uh, new characteristics that uh, uh, this network is providing you for uh, your customer experience, your for products and services? And so reimagining how things could be in sort of all aspects of, uh, of, of what you do is a super important uh, important element. I think the second element is, is really then around, let's call it capital allocation. Uh, how much should you invest? Where should you invest? Should you go pilot first or, or all in? Uh, um, you know, that's really an important uh, uh, decision, uh, decision point. And I think the third area is really around uh, a technology, technology implementation, which sort of falls into two categories. One is how does 5G relate 
to other technologies like artificial intelligence and analytics, to um, uh, uh, robotics, to automation. How do they work together? How do they reinforce uh, each other? How do they fit into the same roadmap? Uh, and I would say the other part of the um, uh, technology implementation is really how do you get uh, 5G to work as an end-to-end solution? So together with hardware, together with software. And, and so those three areas are really important to, um, to address uh, in order for enterprises, you know, to pick up on this and to, um, uh, well, on the one hand, you know, really invest heavily and on the other hand, also get the benefits out of those investments. Yeah, so if you see these three, on one hand, the possibilities, on the other hand, the, the financial part and the hard and the software part, if you then look as well to the capabilities from the CSP, what should they have and what should CSP do to fulfill the role of the digital 5G transformer for enterprises? What What's your advice to CSPs? Yeah, so if you look at current image, um, and and what uh, companies turn to um, uh, telcos uh, for, um, it's really um, connectivity. So w- when you know we ask the question, uh, how well do you trust the CSP to provide great IoT connectivity? Tremendous scores. Uh, if you then go and, and ask the questions, how well do you trust telcos to lead your digital transformation to make you a better company using digital technologies? Um, the uh, number of positive respondents really, really drops and, 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 and they're like in sixth or seventh place way after uh, ICT uh, companies, uh, professional services companies, even software uh, software providers and, and, and a few others. So then turning to the, uh, to the part of the question where you said, okay, what should they do to, um, uh, uh, to get the full uh, uh, business uh, uh, results out of this opportunity? It's basically, you know, addressing those three areas that I mentioned uh, er, earlier. Um, But that is not to say that they should necessarily all have the competence to do them themselves. So I guess first thing which is very important is, uh, um, you know, Talcos actively seeking to come up with a proposition to enterprises where uh, they do work with others. Uh, When we think about reimagining, right, there is an opportunity to work professional services companies, consulting companies, uh, to partner with them to come up with uh, uh, propositions on how this reimagining uh, w- would look like. Uh, if you think about what I was saying about you know the, um, the technology implementation and to end solutions, again there is the need to partner with hardware uh, software providers to come up with those solutions. So I think a very strong active uh, um, uh, build up of partnerships to address those key areas. Uh, to um, uh, to uh, to really progress 5G and how that is being uh, taken up by enterprises is super important. I think the second element is that, although I wouldn't imagine uh, you know telcos ultimately to be uh, uh, the leaders in you know thinking through how companies could function in a different way, they need to have an understanding and a pretty profound understanding of where this technology would add value in a specific industry, uh, manufacturing. Is, is, is sort of the industry in which, you know, 5G uptake is going the fastest. There needs to be a proper understanding to play in that vertical of, you know, how do those processes work? What is it that they're looking for in terms of uh, network connectivity, speed, and how it will help? So I think that's a really important, uh, uh, really important second part. They need to have these uh, 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 industry skills to, um, uh, to be a rele- relevant uh, counterpart and really guide uh, uh, clients towards the right choices around uh, 5G. And I think probably the final one is that um, um, in, in terms of sheer branding in, in, in the market, what do you turn to uh, for, a, for a telco? Um, um, you know, there is a, uh, uh, as I said, current uh, uh, assessment of telcos would be in great connectivity providers, but not necessarily of end-to-end solution uh, providers. So uh, by doing the first two that I, uh, you know, that I mentioned, working more on on the partnerships uh, and making sure that you have the industry uh, knowledge, uh, then also making sure that, you know, that uh, image, that reputation lands well um, with uh, enterprises who are seeking for solutions, I think is really uh, really important. Thank you, Tom. Some great recommendations and thank you for sharing the research insights. And to learn more, register for the MWC virtual booth from AUI and You can also download the research and some great content. Join and register now. And for the audience, thank you for watching and we're looking forward to see you next time.